Good morning, everybody. How is it going? Today we're playing Spin. We're going into the bottom lane. This was random draft. And yeah, that's 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 the plan. That's the strategy for today. Seems we're going up against the Timber Saw in the bottom lane. Uh, our plan here is really to get a help of the Dominator and just stack Ancients and just clean that out once we're like level 10 or so. And then we'll be big and game is going to be over. That's kind of the strategy. They have a Timber Saw, which could be be tricky to go up against. Uh, Timbersaw is definitely a hero that can cause problems. Uh, same for Barrafoom and Disruptor. However, however, uh, I feel like I can handle a Timbersaw and a Disruptor as soon as I get BKB. Right? As soon as we have that, we'll be just fine. And before that, they're not that strong. Right? Like, the thing is, like, they'll become really scary in the late game when they, like, have all of their abilities available and max out and shit. Um, but before that, they're just not that scary. And, um, at that point, I'll have a BKB, so I'll be fine. And then, uh, of course, there's a Lifestealer. Lifestealer doesn't really stand much of a chance against the Sven. Sven is actually, in my book, kind of... I would almost say a hard counter to Lifestealer. Um, it's really not a good matchup for Lifestealer. Lifestealer just kind of sucks. Sucks uh, if it comes to playing against Sven. You know, like, Lysia is a good hero, don't get me wrong. I don't think he generally sucks. But he does suck against Sven. Uh, it's just a matter of you can't get through the armor and he deals more damage than you. <laughs> it's just like, you have no option other than hitting a guy because you're lifestealer. Right? But the Sven hits harder and he tanks more. So it's just like, oh, you cannot actually hit him at all. This is not going to work. So... Sucks to be the life stealer, right? Like that's kind of the conclusion there. So uh, their main carry is not gonna be all that useful against me. And uh, the one hero that I'm really scared of, which is the Timber Saw, he is playing an off lane, and the other two are support. We should be okay. All right, that's kind of the conclusion there. Uh, oh, actually, this Barafum is also at the bottom. So uh, I expected it to be a roaming support Barafum. I mean, that's usually what you do with him, right? But uh, I don't know why he's down here, frankly. Oh, it's a little bit surprising, but... Alright. Right. Anyhow. My team is just pulling and stacking and doing the I usual, know. as you would expect of them, of course. We got a pretty strong party here. Um, I always appreciate that. That is the most fun if you're playing with people that you can rely on. Alright, like, that's always, that's always the thing for me. That's when I enjoy it the most. When I know everybody on my party, like, if they have... Shadow Demon, right? I know they're gonna trap me when I need it, right? Or if they have the line, I know that Hex is gonna come out to cancel whatever the Alchemist has coming into my face. You know, Alchemist comes in with his stun, Hex him up, right? All of a sudden he's gonna stun himself. And that's just really nice. That's just so fantastic, knowing that I have I have some good, solid support around. Um, so yeah. Hello. Uh, I guess I'll get some hits in on him. Uh, it's a bit scary, honestly, just because... Timber saw, you know, the strength, the reduction thing, the, the whirling death. That shit is just scary. It's not really so nasty to go up against, so. Yeah, anyhow. Anyhow, let me get that. Oh, there's a there's a guy incoming. Ooh, yeah, we'll have to get out of here. We need a tree. Uh, we are very tanky right now. Incredibly so, actually. <laughs> uh, ton of armor. With the battle cry, with the um, early Helm of Iron Will, which I always like going for. I like having that early Helm of Iron Will. And then, uh, of course, Sven is naturally really tanky, and we even got a magic wand to top all of that up. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for them, if not impossible, to kill me, right? Um, because even if my team isn't here, I assume they have TPs, right? Like, And they'll be able to TP in before I die, and I'll be fine. And Timbersaw just does not take damage. That hero is just... Uh, I cannot do anything. I don't have boots yet. I would like to get some, but shop is so far away. There's creeps here, man. It's just not reasonable. <laughs> That's just completely out of reach, frankly. I mean, uh, cannot do anything, truly, to get myself um, boots. Nothing. It's completely out of my control. Anyway, uh, let me grab this really quick. And uh, yeah, we only have got like one month left until we finally get a new hero, I think. Uh, people are asking like, when is Monkey King coming? When is Monkey King coming? Valve announced that there's going to be a new patch coming in December. I think on the 20th or is it the 12th? Some number with a 2. It's not the second though. So, um, you know, 20th or the 12th. One, one of those two. You can't just Google that really quick, right? Like that's... Very easy to find uh, information on, but 
The thing is that uh, Monkey King is going to be part of that patch, everybody assumes, right? It hasn't actually been, like, officially confirmed yet. But it would be incredibly stupid if Monkey King wasn't part of the patch. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, alright, so I gotta be Monkey King there. Um, I'm gonna stack this up really quick. Pull the creep wave in as well. Yeah, you know what? Let's get the double value. Alright, like, why not? And uh, no, I'm gonna yeah. head over here. I just kind of apply some pressure with this. Nice thing now, uh, I have the cleave, of course, right? The cleave goes through armor. Cleave ignores armor, so... You know what? Like, I deal as much damage to him with the cleave as I do with just clicking on him. <laughs> it's just Timbersaw, man. It's just Timbersaw. Alright. We got uh, our little Charles over here, so Charles is gonna be taking care of things. But yeah, um... It's just, you know, like, Monkey King is coming soon, and, oh, God, I cannot wait. Alright, I want the new patch so bad, it's like every single time I record regular Dota, I talk about this, but, like, I really want the new patch, I really, really do, and I can't be the only one. I know I'm not the only one, right? Like, who cares about balance? Just give me something new, give me something interesting. Ah, oh, man. Oh no, that's not... Look, the thing is, like, I don't care if the next patch is as balanced as this. Like, as long as it's not as ridiculous as when, like, Sniper and Troll were in charge. Like, that that stuff was just stupid, right? But, um... Like, as long as it's reasonable, like, I don't give a shit. Like, <laughs> And, uh... Very much looking forward to Monkey King. Very much looking forward to him. I really wonder how accurate my predictions are gonna be, you know? Like, in case you don't remember, I made some predictions about Monkey King in a video a while ago. You know, I kind of, like, analyzed the trailer and tried to figure out, okay, what's going on there. Oh, wait, what the hell is Charles doing? Okay, wait a second. That was just weird. Alright, new Charles it is. Um, I am very confused by that. Very much so. I'm not really sure what happened there, but... Mm. Alright. Okay, so, so be it. We get that glows of haste. Oh, we're gonna get ourselves all treads really quick. But yeah, god damn it, oh, fucking timber saw. Like, at this point, it's so tanky. Like, that's why I've skilled the cleave, you know? Like, with the cleave now, I. Ah. It's timber saw, man. That's just what this hero does, right? He just walks into the lane and is fat. Yo, you're getting charged on. Oh, shit. Time to get out, I guess? No, actually, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm getting charged. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm not getting charged, actually. Okay, let's go for you. We got one, so that's good. There's a life stealer here, so that's not good. Um, RP? Oh, nice. Uh, stun. And... <laughs> good work, boys. That was sick. That was sick. See what I mean if you can rely on these guys? Oh my god. And that was just beautiful. That was absolutely fantastic. Alright, cool. Yeah, uh, by the way, just in case you're wondering, I, I went for the Disruptor right there. You know, there's a very, very uh, simple reason for that. And that's just, I was confident I could kill the Disruptor. I wasn't confident I could kill anybody else. But the thing is, if I take out the Disruptor, then they're missing a hero. Right, it doesn't matter how strong that hero is, really. Uh, missing a hero is a big deal. Right? It's just really that straightforward. It's just like, oh, we have a hero more than you know. Well, that's gonna suck for you. And it did! <laughs> right? So, it doesn't even matter if the Disruptor is, like, particularly powerful, or if he can add a lot to the fight, or any of that. Completely irrelevant. Did Charles die again? What is going on this game? I, did, I, I don't really get it. I'm not really doing anything crazy. I'm just telling Charles to, like, stuck and shit. Oh, he's dead again. Hmm. Alright. Uh, Echo Saber? Yes. Uh, I'm a little unsure about this. Uh, yeah, I actually should probably just get out of here. Okay. God, I gotta go. I can't, I can't, I can't fight that. Tim was all on my own, I just can't do it. That's just too much. Is that Echo Saber or not? No, I don't think so. Not this game. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah. It's just like Timur, so I mean, he cuts me down, right? It's really that straightforward. He puts that Q on me, I don't deal any damage to him. Yeah, I'm two levels ahead of him with Tumble Farm. Doesn't matter, he's just got the matchup on me. 
Right, it's really that simple. It's like, it's like the matchup. So, all right. Okay. Um. All right. Cool. Do that, and we got him. Sick. And let's see if we can get this stack. I probably just screwed it up if I'm completely honest, but. Dude, I've just not been playing regular Dota, man. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how quickly you fall out of practice here. Like, it's it's crazy. No, why is Charles attacking these? Charles should not be attacking these. That's the thing. Charles shouldn't be attacking. No. No, man. Absolutely not. Okay, we start pink. That's Timbo Sol again. <sighs> Alright, so it's not just me. It's just Charles being a weirdo. Being aggressive today. Alright, battle Charles? No. Absolutely not. No battle Charles today. Um, no, there I'm out of here. Echo Sabre or not? Echo Sabre or not? Echo Sabre or not? That's a really difficult question, honestly. Um, are they going to be running? A little bit. Not too much. Right? Oh. Alright. Okay, you go over here. You go here. And then I shift Q into H. Which should make it so he holds position, which hold position does not include attacking things. That's what I've been doing so far too, though. I, mean, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it's fine. I'm still doing okay. I'm going to get a Sage and Yasha. I'm going to get a Sage and Yasha. Sage and Yasha is really good. Uh, this is blocked. That last stack absolutely should have worked. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Nah, probably better to not go for this. Probably better to not go for that. That was a barrel from charging me. Funnily enough, I scared them away, so... I mean, actually, a good side came from my initiation there. Not a good thing that came from my initiation. Uh, let's go and throw this down again. You come back in here and H. Shift queuing into the age. Uh, this is actually a lot of people seem confused by that. Like how I do my like whole micro thing because I'm not very good at I'm terrible at micro management. Um, but I just have some tricks that I use to like not have to micro, which is shift queuing basically. I'm just like I just kind of know how to shift queue properly, and uh, it's not that hard honestly. It's just not. Uh, oh look at this! This is exactly what you need. This is as chain stung, stunning him to death, and the shackles even. And he's still not dead, though. He is still not dead. This is ridiculous. Oh my god, okay. We gotta get out. Alright, we gotta get out of here, though. Mmm, battle cry? No. Holy fucking shit, Timbersaw! That is so stupid. Like, god damn it. <laughs> After all of that, he didn't die. You have to be shitting me. Oh, god. Man, that is insane. That is so insane. The survivability on that hero. The survivability. Alright. But yeah, uh, there's basically shift queuing, I guess. Oh, god, Charles, what the hell? Ugh. What is shift queuing? Shift queuing is you push here, you hold shift, and then you push somewhere else, and then the thing does it. Works with heroes, works with creeps, works with everything. Alright, it's just like a base mechanic of, of strategy games. Um, just like H. If you push H, character doesn't do anything. Even if he gets attacked, even if he, you know, even if he sees an enemy in range, any of that doesn't do shit. Because that's how it works. Right? So those are like the things you can and should be using. Um, okay, we got level 2 ultimate now. I guess, really, you want to go again? I, I don't. I don't. Last time didn't work at all. Last time you beat us up. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we're going. We've got the thing of death and shit. Guess we're gonna get the tower. I'm just scared of the timber zone, man. I'm still traumatized from that last fire because holy shit, that guy did not die. He just did not go down. It's just insane, frankly. The other fella's bottom tower's gone. Okay. Good. Gonna keep pushing? Seems like it. Okay. Well, I, I suppose. 
the top towers in trouble. I don't have to get out though. Okay, you know what? I'm leaving this. I'm gonna go top. There's a big creep wave there, lots of money. Also, right next to the ancients, which I do want to kill soon. Mm -hmm. So, let me get another stock on this. Yeah, but H is hold position, S is stop, right? Interrupts anything you're doing. But then the character, like, starts auto attacking and shit afterwards. I actually play with auto attack always enabled. Which I know sounds a little bit silly because, like, everybody's always like, no, turn it off, put it on sound. I actually play with auto attack always enabled. I like it that way. Oh, rip. <laughs> Alright, uh, I got my Sanjin Yasha, so I'll just go for BKB next. And kill those ancients. I can have Cleave really quick. I don't have to use my uh, yeah. ultimate for this. With Cleave. So. Hello. Oh god, that is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh man. It's fucking Cleave. That shit is the sickest. Like, the absolute sickest. We need to kill the Alchemist. That's a good point. Uh, for all I care, we can actually just, like, try and finish. Well, I can them enough. I mean, I got Sanji and Yasha, I'll just get BKB next, and then he can't really do anything. No, you're not going anywhere, my friend. <laughs> not this time. Not this time. Alright, cool, got him. Sick! I just keep pushing, you know what? Just keep the aggression up. That's always the thing you gotta do, right? You just gotta keep pushing. That's, that's, that's like the, the difference in, 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 in uh, skill level, you know, like, that's just how you can make, a, like, 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 that's how you can determine whether or not somebody actually knows what they're doing, right? If they know when to push an advantage. Because a lot of lower level players really don't, right? They'll, like, win a team fight and then just leave. <laughs> it's just like, but you just want a team fight. Why aren't you gonna try, why aren't you killing them? You should be killing them. Oh, I'm silent, so I got a bit of a problem there. I can see it. Alright. I guess everybody wants to be dead. Time to retreat? Nah, no, not gonna happen. Nice, but too late. Yeah, that's what I need BKB for. Yeah, that's what I need BKB for. Exactly Sorry, that. Constantly. Yeah, it's okay. I need BKB first, I guess. That wasn't uh, too great. Good. That was okay. Hmm. I guess it might end up being a little bit more interesting than I thought. How's the Alchemist doing? He's got a Radiance, we saw that much. Uh, he's got Hand of Midas, he's got Armlet, so out farming all of those. Yo. Have fun trying to bust down radiant structures now. Eat that, man. Eat shit. <laughs> Eat shit. Your mid tower's gone. Mm, let's get this. Wish there was better news. And in here we go. Can you like leave my creep alone? Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Get these guys. And uh, oh, did, oh well they blocked it anyway. Never mm -hmm. mind. Oh never mind, you blocked it. Yeah, that was good. Oh god, I'll just let me farm up. Anyway, uh, did we do this already? We're like 18 and a half minutes into the video. If you enjoyed it so far, please don't forget to do a rating on the video. <sighs> but, hmm. Do I actually want... I think I actually might want a Stormhammer here. Your top tower's getting all banged up. Yeah, some more boost seems valuable. Usually I would go for this dad, but I feel like Stormhammer is actually good here. So we'll just go for that. Alchemist got TP, but ah, he's getting scary. Alright, I need I need BKB and then we need to finish. Alright, that's our play here. Cause else the alchemist is gonna get too big and that's just no good. Can't have that. But yeah, like a lot of the micromanagement I do, it's just straight up shift queuing. Alright, shift queuing isn't hard. It's really not. Like shift queuing just needs you to not forget about it. That's all. There you go. Oh shit, why are you attacking? Why is he attacking? Did they change hold? He shouldn't be attacking. He should absolutely not be attacking. I mean, I'm pushing H and it's just not doing anything. Hmm. That's really weird. Please don't tell me they changed hold. Hold is like essential to everything. Like, all strategy games ever. 
No. Oh, well. It's just like that's how like RTS are built, at oh, least like that. how they should be, I guess, right? Like you have, but you have like shift queuing, right. you have assigning control groups, you have um, you know, stop action, hold action, patrol, uh, patrolling. Patrolling has been missing from Dota for My a long time, control. actually. Ah, oh, shit. Or like, was missing from Dota for a long time. Ah, oh, shit. This is not good. No, no, no. I don't like this one bit. Oh my god, I'm pushing H. <laughs> Holy shit. Why is this not working? What the hell? <sighs> Alright. Well, Dota, suck my dick. God damn it. Nah, I'm gonna get my BKB now, though. I can do no less. Yeah, these stacks aren't quite working out. I got BKB, so we can't fight now. That's what I needed. That's all I needed. Just need a BKB, right? Because now I can actually, like, the only hero that can damage me from their team is a lifestealer. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> right? And they don't really have a crazy amount of lockdown. Like, they got the Barafoom and that's where it ends. So. But yeah, should probably group up now. Uh, we should just group up. Let's just go mid and try to, like, get a barracks. They're charging me. Do we have turnaround for this? Is he actually gonna go through with this? No, he's not. Nah. Why would he? That's insane. That is just dumb. Uh, there's no way he does that. Okay. Well, with that power, you know, my natural cleave, we deal a ton of damage. If we just get one good. That's right. One, one good. Just one. One good RP. Yes. Game is over. Instantly. So. All we need. All we need. Yes. One good push of R. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Come on. Let's group up. Let's do this. Yeah, Alchemist is pushing top, but he will be pushing. I like, guess yeah, just nothing we can do about it. Luckily, he isn't that fast yet. So, should be fine. Do they want this or do they want some attack speed? I'll get some attack speed. I'll get a Hyper Stone. Ready for the Assault Cross. Nice DS Desolator. That's okay. I'm actually not afraid of that. Okay, that's used. That's fine. It's not a... Not like I use the big ability to cancel it. Oh, I have to come with his illusions and shit. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, well, this is good for us. This is bad for us. They are in a very bad spot. Okay, I, I got him anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. We are all dead. I couldn't get close. I'm sorry, I couldn't get close to the to the life stealer and the alchemist because the sent uh, the voids were blocking. Sorry. That sucks. I mean, I could actually have been a great fight, but it just kind of ended because I couldn't get close. <laughs> uh, at least I got the kills, you know. Like I did kill the life stealer and the alchemist, so. We got some value out of that, but we lost a lot of heroes. Uh, I guess in the end we got the course and they got our support, so it's not that big of a deal, but it does still suck. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I guess that's where uh, skilling stats would have been nice, you know, I would have a lot more mana. Like, I kind of ran out of mana towards the end day, too. Hmm. Guess mistakes may have been made. Right, let's go bottom. Farm up there. Uh, there's an alchemist here, actually. And it's real. Okay. Do we have enough lockdown? No. Hmm. That's a bit of a shame. Okay. I'm just gonna be fighting. I can do that. 
you think I'm afraid of your bitch ass, then think again. <laughs> it's a triple. Dude, I have no fear at all. Not even a tiny bit. Like, this is... If you're playing against me, that's what you need to be aware of. Like, I will just turn around and fight you. Like, if that's the only given, option given to me, I'm not gonna, gonna run away. Yeah, I can't do this. I'm not afraid. And hey, we got a triple for it. Well, that's pretty good. Alright. Alchemist got a long respawn, so that's good. We have wards? We do have wards, actually. Good. And we got an assault crossing coming. Korea should survive too, so that's good. Uh, I am dropping dangerously low. Which sucks. I'm actually kind of unhappy about that. Oh, Korea is still being attacked. Oh, that's okay. Korea should be fine. Uh, so tower goes down, but I think that's it for us. Yeah. That is it for us. Hmm. Okay, time to go back. And time to get some crits. Now, I know this is a little bit risky. Well away of that. Uh, but who cares? I gotta take some risks sometimes. And uh, yeah, not having TPs... That may really blow. Also, I have totally dropped stacking because I'm just like, I don't even give a shit anymore. <laughs> like, fuck that creep, man. I don't know what's up with Charles today. He's being an ass. <laughs> oh, man. No, but I think just going for crits. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go crits over MKB. I don't actually think MKB is that great. Like, if I can avoid MKB, I will avoid MKB. Like, yeah, he's got Radiance, but is Radiance really that big of a deal? I mean... The bonus damage I get from crits is so huge. And the bonus damage from MKB is just so much less. So, so much worse, right? So, I feel like that is so probably worth with more. Coming here. Or not. Yeah. Okay, let's just keep pushing. I, mean, I don't really know what to do with Rosh. Nice. It's a bit pushing again. Whatever, it's just illusions. Yes. Okay. Let's walk in here. Mm. Okay. Okay. Alright. There's the life stealer. Okay, we're gonna kill the barrel from really quick. So that's a good start. Okay, let's kill him. Oh shit, he's done both of us. I'm dead. Oh man. Problem is too, we're never really getting a good RP. Like the the Magnus always has the shit cancelled. Okay, uh, Tom, what I need you to do is uh, you need to get a smoke, right? And just, when we are pushing, you just smoke up and you stay behind. Alright, and then you just wait for a good RP. Oh, you way smoked. Yeah, well, shit, I don't know what to do then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, shit, that's kind of my, that was my strategy, I guess. Like this. Hmm. To smash that bottom tower it's just we need, here. like, an RP, that's the problem. We just don't get any use out of our ultimates here, which is kind of... I can slap him around, I can slap all of them around, but that doesn't matter if we if I don't get anybody to slap. Now that's the thing, like, I can kill anybody here in a matter of seconds, right? Like, give me two seconds and anybody is dead. But I am not getting two seconds, and that's an issue. Uh, now we're losing towers, yeah. But the thing is, we got two lines, we got two towers down, you know, we can actually... If we get, if we break uh, in there, that's a huge punch. That's two lanes of barracks down. Hmm. So that would be pretty sick. Do you want to contest them in Roshuk? Oh, they're doing Roshan? Probably. No, I didn't get that impression, but sure, we can check. No. They're missing, so. No, Disruptor is back, though. Why not? Oh, no, well, there we is. could maybe sneak a version. I guess, but yeah, sure, I'll drop lifesteal, I guess. I'll drop lifesteal. That seems reasonable. <laughs> I 
Can I ever get a crit? No. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Alright, take my helmet. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let me push, okay? Like, I just walk in front and I'll just hit the buildings. And if they initiate on me, you can't initiate. Okay. Hate to be your mid tower right yeah, that's, in time. that's always the same strategy, right? Like, you get an edges on a big guy that can go into the front, and you put that guy in the front, and you just have him sit there, yes. and you just have him push. Alright, that's just what you do. Tell me you're kind of alone there. Yeah, I'm not really that scared. I mean, Alchemist is down there. He's got a Abyssal Blade, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Alchemist is getting sick slotted. It's an issue. Your Especially, like, once he passes on Agonus, that's gonna be a problem. I mean, I really don't want one on the Disruptor. <laughs> that would suck a lot. Uh, this guy you know, is a little bit scary, too, if he gets one. Alright. Oh, well, that's great. Holy shit, that's good. Alright, that's good news, let's go. That was really good news. Like, with all those guys, I can just go in. Like, I don't have to be afraid of anything. Yeah, but we can still fight. Well, not really, at least. Like, a little yeah, afraid. Uh, should still respect them, but they don't need to be afraid, you know. Two different things. And dead. Nope. Dead. Barracks down, huge punish ink. Um... That is still a dead barracks. That TP was cancelled. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Mm -mm. No, I can't. Yeah, that's why I don't like edges on this hero. It just doesn't do anything. You get edges on a Sven and it achieves like nothing. I'm just gonna die again. Like, look at this. If I get lucky, I get a good crit, but mm, couldn't even get, a, get an attack in anymore. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I'll need buyback here. Yeah, we did get a barracks. Yeah, that's just a problem with edges, you know, that's always what I say. Uh, edges on a transformation hero just doesn't do shit. Because, you know, your hero dies and you lose your transformation and then what you gonna do from there, right? Like, what good is a Sven without his ultimate? It's just not really that scary, man. Like, a Sven without his ultimate doesn't really do that much. Oh god, that alchemist though. Oh real. shit, you gotta get out. Okay, Glimmer Kid. Timbazaw's incoming. Oh, it's just an illusion, but it's still still nasty. We have the Radiance. 20 seconds. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have bought this. <laughs> oh god, Vix. Oh, well, this is turning into a disaster quickly. Okay, I'll be back though. Okay, I can fight. Can I have my hand? Okay, um. Down you go. Alchemist is out. Seems they respect me enough to not fight right now. Okay, at least we got that going for us. Like, seems they, they, they know. They know I can beat them up. <laughs> hey, it's a start. It's absolutely a start. Now, the question to me is, like, should we go top or bottom? It's like, if we go top, we could potentially just end the game. I think we should push top. I like that more, because if we go bottom, we get a barracks that doesn't do anything. But if we go top, we can actually get megas. Alright, but if we get bottom, like, even if everything goes great with bottom, if we win a team fight, they will die. Right? Like... Uh, we get two lines of creeps, but, I mean, that's not really that important anymore. As, as silly as that sounds, at 34 minutes, where we get two lines of creeps, uh, that doesn't do shit. Not against their team, like, it's not really that scary, so... Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's just an illusion. Okay, we got the Aghanims here. Aghanims Ephalons. Yeah, let's go. Huge okay. cast ranger. I love that build. That build is amazing. 
Nyx is also great against the Alchemist, just because uh, the Radiance is always ticking, of course, which means uh, whenever you choose, you can throw this stun on it. Just push that E button. Cool, they didn't even use Glyph. Uh, they got a Glyph now, but pretty sure they have one before. Alright. If they trade, I think we should win the trade, although I'm not convinced. Guys, we just use Glyph, but I'm pretty fast at pushing. And Alchemist isn't, like, that's the thing, you know, the Alchemist is split pushing, right? He's actually only good at clearing out creeps. He's not that good at killing towers. It's really not. So that's just kind of like the one thing we got going for us. Are they really thinking about a base race? I don't think so. Not against the swim. There's no way. That would be really stupid. I don't think they're that stupid. These guys are pretty good. Okay, I got stunned. Come on. Oh my god, we did it! Oh shit, we did it! Look at that. Triple. There's a Barafoon still in the back. That's an ultra. Hey, where's my timber saw? <laughs> hey, oh, my friend. Homie. My homie. Oh, I actually got the... the, the. Oh, come on. Just give me... Give me the crit. Yeah! Boom, babe. <laughs> we did it. Although I think we should have gone for the barracks instead. <laughs> Oh my god. One RP, that's all it took. That is legit all we needed. One good RP. Um, time to get some barracks. Bottom is also exposed. Bunch of creeps at bottom. Can one of you teleport back? Just somebody. I don't want to lose barracks to creeps. Like, I would be fine with trading if there was a hero. But I don't want to lose him just to creeps. That's completely unnecessary. Okay, you're dead too. Sick. Alright, we done did it. <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot, lot closer than it really needed to be. But yeah, in the end, we got that one. That's all it took. It took one RP, right? One misplay. Boom, it's over. That's how it goes. I got mega creeps now. Um, those are infinite money, which is sick. So, yeah, I'll go back to base. I'll just walk back. Um, we're gonna buy. What are we buying? Well, we're definitely getting our satanic. Uh, we're also gonna get TP boots, and that's about it. Don't have money for a moon shard. <laughs> yeah. No, satanic and TP boots is more important. It's only proper. So yeah. A moonshot would be nice though. No, moonshot would be nice. Uh, no, 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 let me tell you that moonshot would be moonshot would be sick, but satanic and TP boots are a little bit more important right now. So you go to the shop. I'll go back, grab this. Actually pretty close to the moonshot. I don't think I'll need buyback this game, not anymore, so... Oh, uh, sorry. Oh! <laughs> Nobody saw that one. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's men. Okay, now we got enough money for the moonshot. Thanks for the... Thanks for the big creeps, man. Thanks for the big creeps. Appreciate it. Oh, that state! Man, I'm trying to farm you. I'll do it. I'll take you, I guess. Cool, got the satanic and a moonshot in that seventh slot. Look at that, I didn't even stack the ancients that much. You should really be stacking the ancients a lot more. I kind of stopped this game because I was just, you know, I don't know, I didn't feel like dealing with Charles anymore. Um, it kind of became a little bit annoying, but, like, yeah. Got it. Boom! That was sick. That was a sick game. I really enjoyed that. Oh, a really good game. I have a GG, man. You absolutely get a GG for that. <sighs> Casual Rampage as well. <laughs> Casual Rampage. Yeah, 32,000 net worth. Uh, highest in the game out farming the Alchemist, even. Graphs. Oh, God. Those guys were actually ahead. Look at that. 
But that's just the thing, right? Like, the thing... Okay, so let's talk about that really. I'm going to leave the party because it's going to take a second, right? But, like, you can see here the Alchemist was actually... It's funny, right? Like, you see this gap between me and the Alchemist? If we look at Overview, right, and we look at the crepes and shit... Oh, actually, wait, wait, the scoreboard. There it is. Scoreboard, right? I had 375 creeps. He had 450. I mean, he spent the entire game just farming. And I still kept up just hitting creeps, right? That's like the power of Sven if it comes to farming. I mean, I can see build his entire item build around hitting creeps. And um, the thing is, like, I still managed to actually keep up. Overall, his GPM was higher, right? But his net worth wasn't because in the end, I, I managed to fight better. I guess that makes sense. And that's just kind of what you can see here, right? Like, you see this team experience on Network. This is just the Alchemist. This is all Alchemists just pushing ahead. They're like, what is this? Like, 12,000 in the lead? All right, at that point, they were 12,000 in the lead. That's the Alchemist, right? Like, if you look at this list here, uh, at which point is this? Is at 30 minutes, right? Let's say at 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, Alchemist is uh, almost 10,000 ahead of me, and I am almost... 7,000 ahead of the Lifestealer, who is the second highest from their team, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, oh, it's just Alchemist. It's just Alchemist. Alchemist is not that scary if you build them as a, as a split pusher, right? What you need to do against that kind of Alchemist is you group up and you just kill them, right? You don't do any of this bullshit where you, like, play around, you know, like, kind of... Don't play their game, ever. If you're playing their game, as an alchemist, if you're playing what they want you to do, you will lose 100% of the time. But what you have to do to win is actually really straightforward. And it's just have a strategy, go for it. Ignore the alchemist because he's going to get his money. Unless you spend the entire early game shutting him down, he's going to get his money. You can't stop that. Just ignore him. He's not that good at hitting buildings. Right, that's the key thing. If you go for the item build that he went for, which is the common split pushing I alchemist build, um, you have the you have the abyssal blade, you have the armor. Right, this is perfectly the perfectly common. Right, like these five items is what you get first. Right, and then this right here is a little interchangeable. Um, I personally like Shiva Scout more than abyssal blade, but you see both. The thing is, in that scenario, in that scenario with that item build, alchemist is shit at hitting buildings. Right, he can't do it. He can't, he's going to push your lane and the creeps are going to attack the tower. But you always got to consider, well, okay, how many creep waves can I have run into my tower before the tower dies? Oh, it's actually quite a lot, isn't it? Like that, that is going to take a while. It's going to take like five minutes. I got five minutes now. Let's kill him. All right. All right. So anyhow, uh, let me go ahead and do the giveaway and then that's going to do it for today. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So, 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 so. Today's winner of the giveaway gets uh, the Severing S severing Lash from uh, Razor. And it is Richard Tungle. You win. So if you want the Severing Lash, then feel free to send me a message. I'm going to give it to you anyhow. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I would definitely appreciate that. I hope to see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to buy my merch. Link in the description. Goodbye.